Hello, my name is G, and I'm here to talk about dating. <laughs> so, online dating is interesting. Statistics show out of 300 million people in the United States, 54 million people are single. Um, and of those people, 40 million people are, are using online dating. That is 74% of the total single people in the United States. But even with this proliferation of online dating um, that, try to, that try hard to help you find who you like and meet, uh, you are still faced with the same old problem you've always faced before. You're on your own. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to make things worse, uh, <laughs> with this enormous presence of online dating, there's also a growing number of people that would try to manipulate the system. On these dating platforms, people are creating their own profiles, so many of them choose to exaggerate or lie about themselves. So what does that mean? So when you are actually on a date, you're in charge of figuring out whether this person across the table is as real as he or she said they are on their profile. There's also an interesting phenomenon growing in a dating context. While many people still feel it's rude to take their phones out during the interview, with development of technology, more people are using their smartphone during dates than ever before, whether first date or not. So there you go. So now you have to, when you're on a date, you have to figure out what's the real deal of your partner while finding your instinct to pull out your phone to check your messages or to avoid awkward silences. <laughs> but dating shouldn't be like this. Dating should be about excitement, having good conversations, learning about each other, smiling and laughing. You should be able to talk about yourself, learn about your partner while feeling comfortable and natural, just like when you talk to your friends. So why couldn't we do that? Why couldn't we have that? The answer is, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Let me introduce Icebreaker. Icebreaker is a smartphone application designed to help two people on dates by utilizing your close friends and your smartphone usage. There are two main features that Icebreaker offers. The first one is our apps. Smartphone is like a small version of your own world. Uh, even though it does not correlate 100%, it does represent your personality, your identity, your hobbies and interests to a certain degree. So by selecting and showing these apps from your smartphone that you feel comfortable talking about and you feel represent your, yourself, um, it works as a starting point of your conversation. Second, Second feature is the prompt. By having your close friends introduce, talk about, and provide tips for you and your dates, you, you can learn about your partner in more efficient yet in interesting way. So this is how it works. When you download and start the app, it first asks you to select the apps that you feel comfortable talking about and that you feel represent you well. After selecting those apps, then you can go and select and assign your close friends from your contact list to be your wingman for your dates. <laughs> when your friends are successfully invited and accepted the request, then they now get to answer the prompts, uh, ask questions, or provide tips for you and your date. So all this preparation stage is done. So what actually happens with your date? With quick and easy NFC tagging or smartphone bump, the app starts its own attraction. At the same time, your smartphone starts blocking any distraction from outside of the dating experience, meaning text, notifications, or phone calls until the date is over. Using, using conversation prompts, and, and with all this happening in the background, the first screen you'll see is our app. You get to ask your partner about the apps that she has or he has, and you get to talk about your apps that you feel represent yourself well. After spending a few minutes on on our apps, then you get you get to use the prompts. Uh, you can also like the prompts that your friends or your date's friends submitted previously, and that notifies your friends, providing a real time. Light feed, good uh, feedback, uh, without it being too distracting. <laughs> you get to talk about yourself, 
you get to talk about your friends, you get to talk about the stories behind the answers that your friends submitted, and like your reaction just now, many people on dates, this prompts make them laugh, which is a really big thing in terms of breaking the barrier on your first date, and it helps you relax, have a good time. So let's now talk about what people have said about this icebreaker. To validate and improve the concept, I have conducted six simulations and more interviews. Um, and I have heard great stories about it. Um, but just to summarize the key points that people said about the icebreaker. First, it helps uh, people to understand each other. Emily said after her simulation, uh, it is a way of talking about yourself without looking selfish or self-centered. There are prompts from Icebreaker that allows you to talk about yourself on a different level, which would be awkward to bring up in other contexts. So Icebreaker helps you to talk about yourself on a deeper level in a faster, faster way. The second is Icebreaker is a conversation starter. Anand admitted after simulation that he didn't come prepared at all with simulation, but he didn't feel nervous or he didn't have to worry about what to talk about next because there was always a conversation starter. And Matt, Matt, after his simulation, has said it is also a great way to bridge the gap between normal and interesting conversations. So Icebreaker is not stealing away your control. All those people still want to own that control during the date. Icebreaker in that case will be working as a sidekick flavoring your experience. The third point is icebreaker is strengthening your existing friendship. Uh, Kim said after simulation, it is as interesting to learn what your friends say about you as it is to learn about the other person. And I've witnessed after simulation, people go back to their close friends to talk about what they, their friends said about the prompt and their dates, basically. So it, it brings your close friends even closer. So how is Icebreaker different in the market? Existing online dating services are only saturated in the beginning part of users' dating journey or online side of their, their experience. Um, however, Icebreaker is uniquely positioned in that it's offline touch point of users' dating journey. In, on top of that, it is not only the dating context that users feel the pain point of being alone. So there are different social contexts where icebreaker can go into, such as network. Online dating industry is estimated, estimated as more than $1 billion market. And as a first comer and its potential of expansion, icebreaker could go really far. Well. So break the barriers, get to know your partner, and have a good time with help from people you count on and trust. Uh, with Icebreaker, I finally envision a future where technology is fostering authentic human connection, not being a source of distraction. Thank you very much.